Okay, in this scene we're going to talk about systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE. So this loop over here on the slide, this loop over here that these cars are going on, is going to remind us of lupus. And SLE, if you want to think of it that way, is slide. It's because SLE sounds like slide. So systemic lupus erythematosus is a systemic relapsing autoimmune disease. How do you remember that it's an autoimmune disease? So one of these cars here actually went on the slide down here around the loop and flew up into the moon and crashed into the moon. So the autoimmune, the auto that bumped into the moon is going to remind us of autoimmune disease. Now you might have noticed most of these autos over here are actually girls. Most of these autos are girls because systemic lupus erythematosus occurs primarily in women, 90% of the time in women, and especially in those of African American or Hispanic descent. Before we get to these autos over here, let's take a look at this tree. So here we have a tree who was crying. A tree was crying. It's sensitive. A sensitive tree. The sensitive tree is going to help us remember that systemic lupus erythematosus is due primarily to a hypersensitivity type 3 reaction, tree for 3, and to a lesser degree type 2, and that's why you have the shoe over here. But let's focus on type 3. Type 3 is associated with deposition of immune complexes to remove from the body. These immune complexes are, of course, formed by complement proteins. Complement proteins, certain ones such as CLQ, C4, C2, are involved in the removal of immune complexes. The so systemic lupus erythematosus is associated with deficiency of the early complement proteins. And that's exactly why there's an inability to clear the immune complexes. But anyway, deficiency of the complement proteins is going to be represented by this cement that went through the computer. There's cement here that went through the computer. Computer cement sounds like complement, computer cement. For complement that got smashed over here, this helps remember the deficiency of the complement proteins, which leads to the inability to clear the immune complexes. And this is what leads to the symptoms seen in systemic lupus erythematosus. Let's discuss the classic presentation. So here we have this auto over here. It's actually a girl, by the way. Again, like we said before. She's got a fever. You see that thermometer in her mouth. You might have noticed that she has a rash. She has a rash on the front over here to help us remember that the, the rash in the classic presentation. And she has this an art palette over here to help us remember arthritis and joint pain. Classic presentation of systemic lupus erythematosus is rash, joint pain, and fever. And again, in a female of reproductive age. Her glasses are falling off over here. Her sunglasses help us remember the photosensitivity seen in systemic lupus erythematosus. Now let's talk about some other features of this disease. So after the auto went into the moon over here, some things popped out of the moon, and these things are going to help us remember other features of systemic lupus erythematosus. So the first thing that fell out is the kidney. There's a kidney that fell out, and the kidney exploded. Please help us remember the renal disease seen in systemic lupus erythematosus, and this is due to immune depositions in the nephrons which can't be removed, which leads to a condition known as lupus nephritis. Parenthetically, the most common and severe type is diffuse proliferative. Then we notice this heart that came out. The heart that came out helps us remember the cardiovascular problems, the cardiovascular disease seen in systemic lupus erythematosus. But the reason why there's this sac over here with lips on it, the sac with lips, it helps us remember the limin sacs, endocarditis, which is very typical of systemic lupus erythematosus. This involves non-bacterial verrucous thrombi, usually on the mitral or aortic valve, and can be present on either surface of the valve but it's usually on the under, under surface. One can remember LSE in SLE. LSE, Libin Sacks Endocarditis in SLE. Then the third thing that fell out was this brain over here. Doubles remember the neurologic problems. This may involve seizures, and that's why you have this seizure crown, which shows up a lot of our videos, seizure crown for seizures, as well as psychosis. And the brain was falling through this zero over here. This is like a zero. There's zero over here with the pictures of the organs on it. Zero for zero. Serositis. Systemic lupus erythematosa can involve serositis including pleuritis and pericarditis. This lady over here, this auto, got an explosion in her mouth, but she doesn't even notice it. This is because the oral or nasopharyngeal ulcers seen in systemic lupus erythematosus are usually painless. You might have noticed over here on the side of the field, there are these fossils over here, these fossils, and the fossils has lips. The fossils have lips, and there are ants around it. The ants, fossil lips, ant fossil lips. Ant, fossils, lips, double remember antiphospholipid syndrome which is associated with systemic lupus erythematosus. It's most commonly found in systemic lupus erythematosus. It's a primary or secondary autoimmune disorder, which causes blood clots to form in the vessels and organs, and treatment for it involves systemic anticoagulation. Diagnosis is based on clinical criteria, including history of thrombosis or spontaneous abortion, along with laboratory findings of lupus anticoagulant, anticardiolipin, antiocardiolipin, and anti-beta-2 glycoprotein-1 antibodies. So there's no cure for lupus, However, treatment focuses on improving quality of life, such as anti-inflammatory medicines for joint pain and stiffness, and corticosteroids to minimize the immune response. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this incredibly weird scene on systemic lupus erythematosus. Take care.